Kitty Cat Kids Corner. Kitty Cat Kids Corner. Kitty Cat Kids Corner. It's Catterday Story Time. June is Adopt a Cat Month. View the schedule of June cat-themed programs and more on our guide at scifelib.info slash cats. Kitty cats purr, kitty cats meow, kitty cats hiss, and kitty cats growl. Listen to this and tell me how many kitty cats do you hear meow? Stay tuned to find out how many meows at the end of today's Catterday story time. Hello, thank you for joining me for another Catterday story time. My name is Miss Regina and I'm a librarian with Harris County Public Library and Lone Star College Cypher Library. Today we'll be reading Castaway Cats, story by Lisa Wheeler, art by Ponder Gumble. And today we have Simi and Jade joining us. On an island in the ocean, near the land of Singapore, midst a storm of great proportion, fifteen cats were washed ashore. Water dripping from wilted whiskers, sea salt stung exotic eyes. Fifteen felines felt quite fearful. Each had used up several lives. There were seven scrawny kittens and a Persian blue named Flo. A tough tom known as Mittens was a short-haired calico. One tabby, looking shabby, and a bobtail known as Link helped the soaking wet Angora, who was sure her fur would shrink. The tawny twins with toothy grins were natives of Siam. A marmalade stood up and said, I think we're in a jam. Need shelter, said the tabby, as he led them to a cave. Then the kitten started bawling until Mittens said, Behave! Fifteen cats by tempest blown, seven babes and eight full grown. In the morning, as the sun rose, fifteen cats rubbed sleepy eyes. The grown-ups searched for breakfast to appease the kitten's cries. They drank milk from the coconuts. The ocean teemed with fish. A broken shell served each cat well and made a humble dish. This is perfect, said Angora as she licked her lovely lips. Don't get cozy, said the tabby. It is time we looked for ships. The twins climbed up the rocky cliff. Each kitten took a tree. Thirty eyes scanned the horizon for a savior from the sea. And although they kept their vigil, and although they raised a flag, and although they kept a watch fire, fifteen hopes began to sag. Fifteen cats meow with woe, nine above and six below. No 
are waiting, said the tabby, and he firmly set his jowl. You are not the boss, said Mittens. The Angora said, Meow! Don't get catty, warned the Persian, as she whipped her plush blue tail. We have to work together. We must build a boat and sail. Good idea, responded Mittens. We are not here on vacation. The marmalade stood up and said, What a sticky situation! They scoured the shore for flotsam and for driftwood that would float. They gathered vines for lashings and they tried to build a boat. Tie it this way, said the tabby. Do it our way, said the twins. Hurry, hurry, mewed the kittens as they raced to see who'd win. Fifteen cats work by the sea. Fifteen cats cannot agree. Then Bobtail bumped the Persian and the twins just up and quit. Angora chipped a painted claw and threw a hissy fit. No time for spats and spouting, said the short-haired calico. We need more wood and palm leaves. Move your tails now. Go, go, go. But the cats would not get moving. No, they wouldn't even try, and they wouldn't work together. So the fur began to fly. Fifteen cats lie on the shore. Ten are bruised and five are sore. In the evening, as the moon rose, fifteen cats rubbed achy jaws. They hung their heads in silence as they licked their swollen paws. We are foolish, said the Persian, as she wrapped her tattered tail. We have to work together, for divided we will fail. So they sat around the fire and organized a plan. Then early the next morning, after breakfast, they began. Let me help you, said the tabby. You're so thoughtful, said the twins. Look what we found, mewed the kittens, as they toted empty tins. Each feline helped another. Each feline did his share. Each feline worked till sunset. Now the boat was nearly there. Fifteen cats slump in a heap, two awake, thirteen asleep. It's so lovely, said the Persian, as she gazed out at the sea. The island feels like home now, all you cats like family. When we get back to the mainland, will each feline go his way? I hope not, mumbled Mittens. All my life I've been astray. I would miss these little mewlers. Then he tucked the kittens in as he struggled with a lonely sigh and stroked each tiny chin. The tabby sobbed agreement as he rubbed a sleepy eye. Angora woke, the bobtail choked, the twins began to cry. One by one, the kittens each arose and added please. Can we stay? Is there a way? We never want to leave. We're staying, Mittens shouted, joined by cheers of happy mews. The marmalade woke up and said, I'll spread the lovely news. Fifteen cats by Tempest Blown. Fifteen cats have made a home. Thank you for joining us for another Catterday Storytime.
Stay tuned to find out the answer to today's brain game. Kitty cats purr, kitty cats meow, kitty cats hiss, and kitty cats growl. Listen to this and tell me how many kitty cats do you hear meow? Did you catch all of the meows? There were eight. Listen to them now. Don't forget to register for our Tales and Tales summer reading program starting June 7th and to tune in every Saturday this summer for Catterday story times and crafting with kitties. Happy Catterday! Don't forget to check out the hcpl.net online catalog for more books about cats. Check out our ebooks and audiobooks selection for kids.